What's up everyone, this is Eddie Coase. If you're redirected from Instagram, thanks for tuning in. This is the 16 by 20 oil on canvas Victor Oladipo painting, the process video. And if you discovered this video from somewhere on the internet, welcome. Well, but before we start, I found a statement from Oladipo on the internet and I just thought you should see her here. I mean, it was just, it's a lie. Watch for yourself. As a person of Nigerian heritage, we both share that in common. What does it mean to win MVP and being Nigerian born and having your first experience on the continent? Oh, it means a lot. It's something I'll never forget. Um, representing Nigeria means everything to me. Green, white, green is what I believe. Um, and, you know, like I told everybody during the game, because I was Mike, Nigerians have the best jello for us. It's a fact. No argument there. Nigerians have the best jello for us. Nigerians have the best jello for us. Nigerians have the best jello for us. <sighs> Sorry guys, I just had to get that out of my system. I mean, who has the best jello? <coughs> Sorry. Let's start the video. Inspiration. All right, so um, I stumbled upon this image on the internet and it I thought it was cool. I think it's a painting or some sort of colored pa pencil um, image. Um, so it kind of had this transparent look to it where it's like colored glass over a face. So I wanted to replicate this using circles. Um, so that naturally was my inspiration. Um, I thought it would look cool. Um, no, there will be an Olightypool 2.0 using his nickname, Mr. Feathery. It's gonna be related. His name is Mr. Feathery, that's his nickname. I don't know why, go search it up on the internet. I sketched out a couple of uh, the idea um, where I've had the face in the middle and I would have the circles over it. Um, so dropping this down on a bigger piece of paper uh, using a divider I got from Blick, I could not find a big enough compass for this sheet of paper or for the canvas. So I got this scale divider, um, went ghetto and put the um, pencil over it and put a rubber band over it and just did it like that. Um, so I used two inch increments for the target circles um, on, the paper, on the paper and on the canvas as you'll see. So the alternated colors on this video was yellow and brown as you can see, um, but I changed it to make it yellow and light blue to reflect um, a Pacers throwback jersey I also found on the internet uh, from 1985. Um, and they wore it again actually in 2005, in the 2004-2005 season um, too. So I thought that looked pretty cool. I really like the colors on that um, though. So um, I wanted to use them in the Oladipo paintings. I'm going to paint prep the background. Um, I used a 16 by 20 canvas from Blick. Um, as mentioned before in the Giannis video, um, all sandpapering um, your canvas really does is it smoothens the surface, um, it helps to merge colors, and I think it also improves absorption by the canvas. I should probably do a video on making a canvas from scratch, your canvas works from scratch, which I, I will do in the future. So look out for that. So I've drawn my image on the canvas and here I used a reference image. You can either uh, freehand this onto the canvas, you can use the grid method, you can use some tracing paper. So with my image on the canvas, I'm going to get my target circles down. I'm going to use those increments of two inches and draw that 
over the face. All right, so keeping in the Pacers throwback color theme, I'm gonna start off with the first layer of acrylic paint. Um, the colors I'm using are acrylian blue hue, um, a cadmium free yellow light, um, and a Turner's yellow, which is more of like a, a deeper hue of um, your regular yellow, and some yellow ochre. Um, so I'm gonna switch to oils after I get my first layer down. Um, the oils I'm gonna use are fairly the same colors. Um, actually, I'm gonna use Burnt Umber um, to use it in those dark areas. Uh, cobalt Blue, which is a lighter blue color. Um, and Thalo Blue. Um, and then I will occasionally be using some white and black too as well. Okay, time to paint. So, previously in the LeBron and Giannis video, I think some cards should be popping up there. You can click on, click on them. I mentioned that I go through a stage called the paint draw stage, which I think is the best way to stay within the boundaries of your painting. I didn't do it for this painting. I think I was too excited, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off with a yellowish, goldish color, yellow ochre-ish um, in the first circle, um, then, I will switch to blue and alternate respectively. By the way, for the first layer, I'm going to keep with the acrylic paint and then for the second layer, switch to oils as I mentioned before. Uh, so while I'm looking at my reference image, I'm making sure I capture the lightest and the darkest areas, uh, most importantly. Um, it, honestly, I, I made this painting more diff difficult than what it really should be. I really should have done the draw paint stage so I could just gauge what colors I'm going to use and what where the boundaries are. Um, and then use, I guess, two flat colors, uh, which were the blue and the yellow colors, to get the base down for the face and then pick it up from there. But I, I, I didn't do that. Okay, so we're done with the acrylic layer. Now we're going to build with some oil paint here. So now that we've mapped how everything's going to look, um, along with the highlights and the dark areas, the rest should be fairly straightforward. The oil paint is really going to allow me to blend these colors seamlessly and it will allow me to correct um, some mistakes even the next day. FYI, I did not do this painting in one day. Don't, don't be impressed by the, I mean, I didn't do it in one day. It took me a, probably a week to do um, because I made it difficult for myself, honestly. All right, so I'm gonna leave you for a couple of seconds here so that you can enjoy the painting. Now, just as a side note, if you happen to have the darker shades of colors straight out of the tube, for example, a lighter blue straight out of the tube versus a darker uh, blue out of the tube, I would use those to lighten and darken your image instead of white and black, just because it makes it a little bit more rich, colorful, and interesting, um, I mean, in the painting. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're up to saving some money and also um, you don't have these colors available just because they're freaking still, they are expensive. Um, you can use white or black to lighten and darken um, certain colors. Now I know I didn't really give a detailed 
detailed step-by-step -step, uh, process, but look, let's be honest, I'm not trying to make this video about 20 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Head over to the LeBron video um, to get a better sense of, I guess, the step-by-step -step process I use for some of my paintings. Um, this is the photo montage of the whole painting process. My goal is to paint, whew, damn, I hit my chest hard, 30 current NBA players from 30 teams. Not all of them are going to have videos, but all the paintings will be posted onto Instagram and onto my website. So check it out. Thanks for watching and don't be scared to press that subscribe button for more. Peace.